This feels weird now that I'm not observing. If you're happy to observe, mate, you observe. Mate, mate I, this is the you setup. You got it. This is the setup. You, I told you, you. This is the setup. Someone okay. has told me, though, that when you observe... Oh, wait, you might not be on screen. Oh, you're on no, camera. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. fine. Okay. And also, it doesn't matter because we're in game anyway. Yeah. Look, I know what you're about to say, that my observing skills are not the best. Now, the thing is, if I'm observing... <laughs> if, I'm, if, if I'm observing games in a peak mode, I'm not paying attention. Right, but okay. I'll have you know... I, you are on it. i have you know, I casted a whole epic land once all by myself, and I had the obs as well, you know? So, as you as you say that, where have we gone with the camera? <laughs> exactly. Do you know what? That's only because of the, it's on the slot on, on the bottom of the mousepad. But I thought you said the mousepad was perfect. The mousepad is... Don't chat shit about I'm the mousepad. About the mouse I thought you were chatting shit about I'm the mousepad. I'm chatting shit about your I, usage of the mousepad. I can, pad. you know, it's like, it, it's my mousepad, you yeah, know, yeah, I can yeah, be yeah. a bit abusive towards it, you know. That's fair. Believe me, I've been very abusive towards uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can imagine, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. So anyone want to do the player intros, or...? Uh, no, Dane, take it away. It's all right. Talking about, in our bottom right hand corner of Romanticide LE, playing for Infed, once again he's fighting for his tournament life, he wants to show what he's capable of, he is Infed's Dalton! And his opponent in the top left hand corner, playing Protoss for the Drunken Outlaws, he is Chelch! So I have a quick question about yeah. the streaming setup, which yes. is... Do you have the... You can do this. So you've got it on delete and fire. Yeah. Yeah, so, that's so those four. Those, those four here are my cameras, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And you don't... Not the top ones, though. This is a weird keyboard. And then what about scroll in and scroll out? Uh, no scroll. No scroll. No, no scroll. No, no, no scroll. No. We don't You'd need... have to do this. Oh, that would work. Or the middle page one. up and page... Oh, the middle ones, yeah? Yeah, the middle ones would do it. Yeah. yeah fine. Because it might It's be all nice. default, I think. It might be nice oh, to... No it's like a big win of mine and happy or something like that. You know what I mean? It might be nice to see. Yeah, exactly. Just to zoom right in and see all the carnage. Like, look at look at this pro mining, you know? Oh, yeah, he's a magnificent pro. Crazy. Man, this is what the game looks like, huh? I always play on low graphics. I turned it on. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, right? I know what you mean. When you have the high graphics on, you're like, wow, it's actually really pretty, right? You know? You know look at all these little details and stuff like that. It's actually super nice. Yeah, the game like isn't the, too bad. The particles on like the uh, like stuff warping in, it's like super pretty. You know? Yeah, it's like really nice. But like when you have it on, like, it's just a, like a blue ball, isn't it? Yeah, That's you don't it. see really anything. You and, don't, none of this detail. And we've also got like this is like a 4K 50 inch TV as well, so you can see like every everything. Yeah, it's it's like I have to admit, it is really really nice. Like the quality is beautiful on it. Nice and bright and crisp. It's a great TV to use to. Uh, this is what I imagined, right? I imagined for, I'm like, right, I can do a tournament. We just need to have a sofa. I've got a big screen TV. Let's just watch some StarCraft. Cool. I would say the first interesting development that's happened there, which is an Evo chamber before the third base. That's a, I mean, I'm no Zerg expert, but that feels like it's a pretty fast Evo, no? So, theory do crafting we, on that, I'd have say... Zerg on the sofa? Uh, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> we don't have a Zerg here. Yeah, what are you talking about? Like, but we do we, have... We didn't see this in the first series. Because. We did not. And uh, we, we do have three gentlemen who have the ability to chat shit at magnificent quantities. So I think <laughs> we don't need to have a Zerg here. We can speak for them. This is really interesting. I was going to suspect that he would go for a fast plus one melee and go for a lot of Zerglings with plus one really quickly. I thought that, that might be kind of cool. But he's actually gone for plus one range which would benefit queens. Mm, could be. And this is PBZ. This is PBZ. We've seen what happens in, with queens in PBZ this morning. Do you feel like he knows the Void Rays are coming? I mean, he hasn't scouted it, but do you feel like he just he, knows? He, he don't need to, does he? Let's be yeah, he doesn't need to at this point. <laughs> so he's just saying, like, I'm going to be super prepared for these uh, Void Rays. I'm going to have plus one on queens. Well, and he's also gone for a fast lair. He started his lair. He is droning up, obviously, but I think what we're going to see if I had to predict, and we're gonna see how much full of shit I am, I think we're gonna see. I think we're gonna see a plus two Hydra timing. Ooh, I like your style. I think that t the timing of that plus one is gonna sync up with the layer, and he's gonna be able. And I could be chatting. I'm taking a risk here. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's that makes sense to me. That resonates with me like a glade. Well, we'll have to see how much damage the Oracle gets done uh, whenever that gets its way across the map. Where did it go? Has he already made one? He's gone for two Oracles, so this is very Chelch. Can't go for double Oracle, he's ignoring the meta. Doesn't need a Void Ray. Doesn't need to kill Overlords. He's like, let's see what you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna blast all your probes. 
Hey, there, the camera's not on, don't worry. You can say hi to the stream if you want. Uh, Hello. <laughs> well, there's an introduction afterwards. Yeah. My wife is just walking through and she's very, very confused as hey, to why there's... we've not met and there's no... Yeah, no I didn't even tell her about the tournament. She's just like, who are these stinky oh, nerds on my sofa? <laughs> Who are these people that just showed up? We'll do, yes, we'll do proper introductions. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having us, though. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Dane. Yeah, thank you, Mrs. <laughs> Dane. You're the best. You boys have fun. <laughs> <laughs> it never changes, right? No matter how old you get. Yeah, yeah. No. Never changes. Some things don't change. Or it never changes. I have it on good authority that Dalton's MMR is 7k. Ooh, Christ. I think someone was right, you know? The hydras are coming down. Do we have plus two on the way. We've got only 48 workers, so relatively low drone count and dropping. Right, it's getting a lot lower. <laughs> nice oracle control from Chelch so far. That was really nice, yeah. Yeah, he was some really good kills there. And this is really crucial for Chelch, I think, with this because you don't. What you want when you're holding the Zergol in is to not have to hold infinite Zergol in. So if you can force Dalton to attack on a lower drone count than he wants to be, he'll stay on that lower drone count for a lot longer, right? Because he's not going to be making any. We just missed it, but he did have five drones on production, which, uh, again, it kind of forces his hand as well, because he's probably not going to have as, like, he won't be able to get as many hydras out as quickly, but he's going to have yeah, to... Yeah, it's going to delay that, and that might be that might be the time that Chelch needs to, to brace to finish charge, maybe to finish a couple of Archons, maybe even have Storm for this. And I think if Chelch has Storm for this, which he's already got his Templar Archives finishing, one or two Storms can make or break this entire push. It doesn't matter how strong your plus two attack Hydra Ball is, if it gets stormed, they're going to die. Yeah, and Hydras are super weak to Storm as well. Just there we go, as we see, Storm has been finished, he's croning it out as well. I think he, I think Chuck agrees with you. I think one or two Storms is, uh, is his solution to this problem. And this is really nice read from Chelch because he could have gone for what a lot of Protoss do. We saw Molten going for pretty much a, a fast Robo every single time. And because Chelch has this really nice scouting info and he knows that there's no roaches on the way, he's not bothering with the Robo. Uh, he's got a Robo, but he's not chronoing Immortals. You know, he's, he's focusing on teching all the way up to that storm. And that's going to really be scary for Dalton to deal with. Do you know what? I'm just enjoying like how pretty the Hydras look, you know? They just like ultra graphics on this massive yeah, screen they, as well. They're nice looking. They look really pretty, I think. You know? they, and the green what, colour as well. What skin are they using? I don't actually know the Zerg skins, but they're yeah, they're very detailed. They're pretty they? funky. Yeah, they got lots it's of not the default one, I don't think. Yeah, it's lots definitely of spiders. Lots of spiders. It's definitely some this this man has paid money. Yeah, that's what it's definitely <laughs> some cash. At some point, yeah. This is this is a flex for sure. This is a big flex. Oh, oh the stasis. not not a terrible stasis ward. It's not one at least. Yeah. Uh, storm no storms going down yet. One big there two. Oh slightly my God, overlapping everything. there. Slightly overlapping, but these hydras so are all low. so low. Yeah. If there was one more storm it would have been. Yeah, and the Immortals are out, there's a there's a cannon, there's a battery, and I think the critical mass is now done. I like the Warp Prism, doesn't even lose the Arc on it, so yeah, nice hold. Yeah, it's a really nice hold, still got his third, and he's way ahead in workers, like, he's looking really good for Chelch here. Yeah, you can tell there's a little bit of nervousness from Chelch in this game, because those storms in a ladder game probably would have been perfectly spaced, perfectly timed, um, and, you know, sort of not taking, not forcing his army all the way back, but... He was probably, he might have just been waiting for that last tick of energy as the Zerg army is going up your ramp. That's the panic. Um, well, it literally was happening, right? Like the storm was counting down, like three, two, one, as he yeah. was coming up the ramp. And I was sort of a bit like, oh my God, like, what's going to happen here? Sort of Can you imagine a couple banelings rolling in and just hap and just detonating on your High Templar literally right before as the storm come in? Like That's... you have the High Templar on the hotkey, you're waiting for their icon to become ungrained. And then you just hear, and they just all blow up. Oh my God. I reckon Chelch might throw his keyboard out the window. Now this this is a precarious situation as a Protoss. You typically only want to attack against Zerg. The golden rule is you only attack at like seven minutes or when you're maxed. It is neither of those things, but Chelch feels that he's killed so many Hydras that it's he has to press this advantage. Another thing as well is where he's put some of these uh, Zergs on the other side of the map. Like in, you know, the, the, the total sum of that is that he doesn't have as much at home to defend with. And I think Chelch kind of realized that, okay, if he wants to counter attack me, well, I'll just kill you then. Yeah. You know, like, fine. If you want to do a Zergling run by, I will counter with dead. Yeah, like, you're not going to have enough to hold me if you don't have everything at home. Like, you've already failed your push. 
and plus two's just finished. This is exactly why Chelch is a better player than me, because if this were me in this game and I held that Hydra push, I wouldn't have pushed. I would have been scared. I would have thought, I would have thought, okay, I'm, I'm ahead. I held that, let's macro to carriers or something, right? But Chelch realizes, no, you can't have enough after hold, after you know me holding it like that. You either are droning or you're making units, right? Um, and if you want to stay in this game, you got to drone. And now he's dead. I feel like as well <laughs> that... Um... And now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like as well... So yeah, go, sorry. Do you want to tap? And, then, and, then, like and then just go to uh, chat at the top. Chat. There you go. Cool. There you go. Now we've got, now we've got the couch back. What up? <laughs> um, I feel like as well against the Zerg player... Like Zergs can build drones so quickly, right? You you can't if you if you have that advantage, you want to keep the pressure on. I know exactly. you said that the rule of thumb against a Zerg is that you want to wait till you're maxed out or you want to wait to the eight minute mark. But once that push has failed, you know I feel like you're like right. I need to kill him now because if I I feel like if you let the Zerg sit for too long, they tend to recover. Yeah. You know what I mean? They tend to like get like all the bases, all the drones. All if the you tech. don't press your advantage, it will disappear. Yeah, I feel, I feel like you can kind of maybe get away with it against a Terran because, you know, again, you have to build SCVs one at a time. Your production is very, like, singular. Whereas as Zerg, it's like, fine, I can just build 10 drones now, then I can build 15 roaches, you yeah, know what I mean? I, t I was tactically saving larva during that attack, so I have 20 larva. We've become 20 <laughs> drones. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm ahead in drones now. That's if a high-tier strat. If you didn't know, I am in Diamond League, which is probably why I have these big brain strategies, you know, of, of saving larva. For when you fail your push to build for you, it's more <laughs> saving saving mule mule energy for the tactical scan when it's the yes. DPs come yes, in. Yes, yeah, yeah. I've never attacked Suskin and had him not have a scan. <laughs> you don't understand how much I hate DTs. Okay, <laughs> like I will drop my mules and I will save. You know, if I have like three command feathers, I'll drop two mules so I know I've got the scan. You know. Got another donation. Oh, we, do we have another donation? Can you? Well, go ten minutes ago, I don't know if that was before or during. Like, uh, can you go back to the? I'll tap back. Uh, walk. I think, uh, yeah, thank you very much for the tip, Walk, for the 14... Well, I get it in US dollars. It's probably a sensible amount of pounds. <laughs> yeah, uh, all of your donations <laughs> are wild. I converted into okay. this random number. Um, but yeah, absolutely good. So can we... So you have to... And then you have to go back into the casting. Oh, yeah, go back to the oh, Yeah, we're going to start with four. For Dane Invitational 2, I'm going to have hotkeys for these so that we actually do it professionally. But I love it, though. It's already very professional. All like, the overlays and the stuff that's like cutting forward, you know what I mean? It's, uh, yeah, not too bad. It's basically got my stream set up. I've made very few adjustments for the invitation. It works very minimal well. Minimal effort was put into this. Minimal, <laughs> minimal effort to be as relaxed as possible so that otherwise it wouldn't have happened. Yep. And yeah, we were, I was talking to Zane about this on the sofa, how like relaxed this was. You messaged me on Monday and you were like, hey, do you want to do StarCraft stuff? You didn't mention a tournament. You were like, <laughs> you were like just come out and play StarCraft with me on a Saturday. Surprise! I was like, yeah, maybe. And then I spoke to Zane and he was like, are you going to this tournament on Saturday? I was like, tournament? I was like, what? I thought I was just going to go hang, hang yeah. out with Dane for a bit, you know? Yeah, Zane. And he was like, yeah, like Bradley's coming all these You thought it was stuff. an exclusive invite. You were actually really insulted that yeah. other people are here. I was like, whoa. I was like, it's going to be an intimate evening, me and Dane together. You know, Candle lit dinner. Together. <laughs> it's gonna be romantic, and then I turn out. It's like, oh no, it's just some some tournament of Starcraft. Yeah. Right? It's not a romantic evening, you know. UK scene. Yeah. Who needs that? Who needs that? Right. Who wants to intro the players this time? This is Bradley. Go on then. All right. Standing down here in the bottom left position, our green Zerg. It is Dalton. And up in the top right hand corner, representing the drunken outlaws, it is the pink protoss, Chilch. Woo! Go Chilch! Chilch, what up? I have to root for Chilch here, I gotta tell you. You're a bit biased? He's a drunken outlaw. I gotta tell Protoss. you. And he's Protoss. And I practice with him, he's a great guy. I, I mean, I have nothing against Dalton. I have nothing but respect for Dalton. In fact, I have to give a massive shout out to Dalton and Savage because they kind of saved this tournament. Oh yeah? Because we had a couple of people cancel kind of last minute and it wasn't looking like we were gonna have a full bracket. We still would have done it, but I sort of was messaging on Discord and I had Savage and Dalton just be like, right, I'm in tomorrow. And they've been showing up on time. They've been messaging back straight away. As a tournament organizer, these are the qualities in a player you care about. I don't actually care if you're good at the game. I just care, do you respond to my DM? Do you turn up? Yeah, do you, <laughs> do you turn up and show me a game? People underestimate like, how powerful like the, re the response time is you know like if, you, if you're trying to organize something and someone replies to you instantly 
it's so much nicer than having to wait like three or four hours for a response, you know? Which is exactly why if you're online dating, you shouldn't do that. What you shouldn't? I have it on good authority, you should wait. You should, you should, you shouldn't seem too desperate, you know? You make them wait, you make them second guess. I personally, I never do that. I can't do that. What's that saying where it's like, Make them wait, keep them needy, or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's not. No, I'm saying. But I think really in general, hard. I think in general, you wait like at least a few minutes in the first couple of conversations, right? You don't want to message back straight away, being like, "Do you want to go on a date with me?" You know, you say you, you waited out. Are are we qualified to be giving dating advice on a StarCraft tournament? I think so. <laughs> I can't think of anyone more qualified. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, the drone coming through here is kind of cute. Men the pylon couldn't go down to block, so we have to put a gateway down. Yeah, instead. there is there is a thing going on here, which is that there is a very fast <laughs> zergling attack. We should probably pay attention to the video game. There's some Starcraft happening. But I mean, at the end of the day, that was a nice little drone drill attempt from Dalton. But Chelch has a full wall now. He's got a battery. He's and got he's an adapt. Micro is macro, and <laughs> the shield battery is really keeping that probe alive. You love to see it. Oh. <laughs> we have the, we have the COVID test COVID is ready. Test. <laughs> we we'll don't need to that. see the game anymore. We'll <laughs> 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 I did try to say I was a good caster. Uh, I, pro observer, I promise yeah. you, there will be so, like okay. I think I think this is a hold. I have to. I had to, I gotta tell you. I think this is a hold. Uh, I think this is with the void rail. I know that there will be someone who's like someone who's literally has not, you know, contributed anything. That's gonna be like this is a disgrace. Ooh. Oh, no Dalton OGG. All I'm gonna say is thank you for making that a quick one because now I can go check my COVID. Test. Now we can go check yeah. our COVID tests. <laughs> okay. So what do we want to go? I'll go check real quick. I'll go. I'll go, uh, I'll go check.